Now, the uh, Korean film industry is more diverse than ever before. Nestled between the multi-million dollar blockbusters are a growing number of independent movies that are grabbing the attention of audiences. Now, Shin Se-min reports on one low-budget indie film that has been making waves at film festivals around the world. The ordinary life of a 70-year-old woman who's traveled a rough road growing up in the tranquil city of Suncheon in the South Cholonamdo province, the documentary Splendid But Sad Days invites audiences to her story as a wife, a mother, and a fisherwoman who's devoted her whole life to support her family members. This independent film made its first showing on the silver screen on Tuesday for general audiences who's been waiting for their chance to view the film. The documentary has been highly praised by international audiences throughout the film festival circuit, including the Busan International Film Festival, Focus Corée of France and the Montreal World Film Festival, and has so far earned positive reviews. International audiences commented on the film's ability to capture the unfiltered life of a woman who willingly gave up everything for her family, along with aspects of Korea's traditional culture, and I'm glad I was able to present such a side of Korea. And more moviegoers are saying that independent movies like this are more influential when compared to commercial hits, which can sometimes overwhelm audiences. I think the movie will linger in my mind days after, and watching it made me want to search for more independent movies that can touch my emotions. While attention for local documentaries is small, the genre is growing, like the independent film Old Partner released in 2008, which reached over 2.9 million in box office sales. The movie Splendid But Sad Days will begin showing in theaters starting in Suncheon on the 25th. Shin Zemin, Arirang News.